You can also use the hole and group function to actually create cuts into an object rather than just holes. So for example, let's say that I want to put some type of groove on the side of this box. I'm going to grab the default box hole tool here and I'm going to size it to be the groove that I want. So I'm going to just pull this out so it's actually wider than my red box. And I'm going to slide this into the side. Instead of actually just creating a hole that goes all the way through, if I were to select both of these shapes and hit group, it will actually cut a groove into the side of my box. This would work also if, say, that I wanted to put an angle cut. I can just, again, choose the shape that I want to use to make a cut. I can turn the shape from being a solid to a hole. And then again, group these shapes together, and it will create additional cuts into my box.